You ready to paint? Ah, you ready Boris Jingle? This is gonna be one of our hardest paints yet. This is expert level. This is The Spaceman Looking for Earth by Serena Art. I saw this and I was like, oh, oh, that's beautiful. I need to try it. You ready? Oh, by the way, I'm Kartha Gewert. Okay, so in the original, the cliff, like the border goes through the cliff, but um, you know, I accidentally drew it all the way. So this is gonna be my artistic interpretation. And also it's really hard to get supplies right now. So uh, this is electrical tape, and I don't know what kind of tape this is. <laughs> you okay? You can't say it went wrong before it even went wrong. All right, I'm ready to start. And thankfully, because I'm such a little artiste, I have all of the colors that I need. Ah, from the forest, I have a great day. This is live footage of me doing my very, very best. Whoa, that's a messy background. She's a messy girl. Yellow, I almost color matched these perfectly, but I just don't have all of the colors that this artist has. I've never been so excited to do art in my entire life. Like, she's a beauty. She's a beauty waiting to happen. What's next? White. Ooh, I might run out of white. This might be all the white we have left. White. It's a color. Okay, red. I should wear this as foundation. I've got like a weird red undertone. And if you look really closely at my eyes, they are, uh, they're red. Should I like try to be right-handed so you can actually see? Ooh, look at that zit. Hi. How are you? It was so big yesterday. I was going to eat dinner and then I had to pop her because didn't want Terry to have to look at that. And by going to eat dinner, you mean staying to eat dinner. Yeah, staying home. Isn't this like the weirdest time that we live in right now? Like we can't leave our houses. It's crazy. Uh, oh, I accidentally did the dark red before the light red. That was not supposed to happen. Maybe what would be good is if I like put light red on top. See, ketchup tomato. It's like ketchup with a cherry on top. They call this color ultramarine blue. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. These are never colors that I would put together. I'm so excited to see how it turns out because like this is essentially a man in space shining his little flashlight onto the earth. Like that is so cool. It's so embarrassing how excited I am about all this, all this trash. What do you think, Boris? You want some? I know it looks delicious, doesn't it? Don't you just wish it was icing and that we could have a little feast together? Yerp. And sure. Acrylic paints are expensive. I really hope this turns out. And then white. I ran out of small white, so I'm going to use my big bottle of acrylic white. Get out there. We believe. Oh, we believe. Okay, and then for the top part here, there's gonna be bleh and black. Oh yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. Oh yeah, up here in Canada, we do some paint and purple over here. Uh-huh, looks great, looks good, looks fantastic. I'm scared. I feel like I need another blue. I feel like I don't have another blue. We gonna start on the bottom. I'm scared actually. Oh, this goes right through Moon Man. Okay, well, you know what they say. Goodbye, Moon Man. I was actually worried that this wasn't gonna be enough paint, but here we are, living the dream. Doing what good people do on a Monday afternoon. Okay. Well, that's just pretty. Wouldn't you think, Terry? Yeah, I'd think so. You'd think that? Yeah, until somebody told me otherwise. Oh, until like some art dealer was like, actually, that's kind of trash. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh God, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, now we do the darks. Okay, these two are just gonna like mix together immediately because this is like the dark blue sky. The dark blue sky, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Moon Man is gone. Yikes. Yeah, hope you don't mind. Oh, that is such a nice midnight blue. Oh, oh wow. Now my paintbrushes really aren't the same quality as this guy's or girl or whoever, but I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Oh, he, he gone. Okay, so now I take this one and then blend it in a little. 
and hopefully in the future remember where he was, where he once sat in his really, really tough space mission. Like this one was really hard on him. Mm. Painting, something you can do at home if you want to, but you don't have to, but you can. Options always there. Hey, pool's always open. Oh gosh. I knew that this was gonna be like the most oddly satisfying thing ever. There's defo, a dog hair, but we can't be concerned about such trivial things in these trying times. I'm just trying to get the blend perfect, you know? Pretty good, huh? Pretty good, huh? Pretty good, huh? Putting one more coat of blue here because the original is a lot more blue on the top. So I'm just gonna brighten her up a little. You could kind of see like the white peeking through the canvas. We wouldn't want that. Cartha Gewirt has a higher standard than that. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Okay, so now is a part that is super fun that can really easily be messed up. It's certainly gonna get my skirt destroy, but I'm gonna put pour some paint just like here because I don't have any like plates and stuff. And then I'm gonna dip a brush in and then, you know, get the white going. Oh, hey, not all stars are the same. Every rose has its thorn. Actually, this is starting to work out. Other than the big white splatters, but some stars are bigger than others, like they say. Okay, I should have like got like the big parts off and then started because like these little ones that are flying out now are really nice. What do you think? Do you think she's done? Mm -hmm. It's just really fun. <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to do this part. Oh wait, I have to blow dry this a little bit so that I can move this tape down and then up and then so I can do the top part. The nice thing about this is that Moon Man is like starting to pop out on the bottom here, so it's gonna be easy for me to trace him, because at first I thought it was completely useless that he was there. How dry do you think it is? Uh, dry enough. Yeah, we're hoping for dry enough. Ooh. Why is there so much paint in random places? Because you splattered it everywhere. That's a theory that I might consider to be true, but until then, I'd like to see evidence. Okay, and now I need tape. My question is, like, how can anyone be this accurate? Is that accurate? We won't know until after. This is going to look crazy before it looks better. Tell you that much. Ooh, oh yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> this is going to be very strange but hopefully very inviting. You ever just focus harder than you've ever focused in your life? Cause that's me right now. I'm scared that I'm just not gonna know what this is gonna look like until I'm done. Like I'm not gonna know if I've made a crucial error until later. We're gonna find out next time on Cartha Gewert Paints. If Cartha Gewert absolutely butchered this journey. The black like totally ate the purple. <laughs> I need more yellow. I feel like the like the flashlight beam needs to be a lot more intense than it is. There we go. That's working, kind of. Please get more purple and like anything but black. Black just really like lets you know that it's there. In the interest of making this less black, I'm gonna put a light purple here and hope that it mixes with the black and that it becomes like a medium purple. Is that how color theory works? Only time will tell. Okay, yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Yellow's not high enough. Gotta make the yellow higher. Just gorgeous. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. Blow drying it, then we're gonna add a horizon, a moon, some stars, oh, spaceman. <laughs> That is not true. All right, horizon time. Okay, gorge. That's the straightest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Well, for how serene this painting is, the intensity level, very high. This turned out better than I imagined. Okay, now I'm gonna take this tape off for a horizon. Oh God, yeah. Oh God, 
Now I have to do like the moon and stuff. Time to paint a perfect circle. Do you know perfect circles are impossible to draw? And I'm attempting one. If you mess up a line, just make your moon bigger and bigger until the entire painting is a moon. This is like actually, I think my first try at like an expert level painting. Very exhilarating experience for Kartha. Oh, gorgeous. Now I gotta do clouds. Oh geez, there's like clouds in front of the moon. This one's gonna be a little fluffer. And so is this one. Little fluffers all over the place. Looks like the moon has wings. It does. The moon has wings where I'm from. I'm so Bob Ross right now. Wow, just a little baby down here. <laughs> Cute. This cloud's bigger than the moon. This cloud's like a weird shape. This is like one of those clouds that you're like, is that even a cloud? That looks more like a dog jumping. Is that Boris's uh, debut? in the painting and this is like the shine on the water i think we're doing it little buddies this might be a redemption story for old kartha i just realized that because of the border i can like test the colors on the outskirts because the border's coming off anyway i'm putting some pink in the clouds because he did It actually kind of looks like the moon. Ew, indubitably. Cute. To me, that is the moon. That is the moon in essence. I have a feeling we're gonna need a lot of black now. All right, now we're, we're entering the hard part, the cliff that our man's is on. I like to think about how proud I'm gonna be of myself when this thing's done. I like to think about how this might be my crowning achievement. I'm gonna have to like outline his legs because this cliff is gonna cut them off right about now. Bang. But at least you can see his little feet popping out. Do you want to explain how we got to Spaceman from No Spaceman in a jump cut? Yeah, I screamed and I was like, I can't do it! And so Terry did an outline. Oh, he's so cute! I love him. He's the cutest little man. I'm gonna have to take the tape off and finish the flashlight, but like for now I'm gonna do the shading on our Spaceman. After this. This is one of those situations where not being left-handed would really help me out. Okay, that looks dumb now, but whatever. Ooh, that's pretty clean. What you doing now? Forgot the stars here. These ones are a lot more unassuming than these ones because I uh, learned that you're supposed to like clap the big honkers off before you do this. I'm learning so much about painting today. <laughs> and now we add just some final little highlights on our little space, man. Okay, now I have to draw <laughs> a spaceship. <laughs> Well, this just covered my favorite star, so hopefully it's worth it. Do you have much experience drawing rocket ships? No. I don't even know if that's what this is, honestly. Like in the finished painting, it does not look like a rocket ship. Not even slightly. We're painting at a ninth grade level here. <laughs> there you go, little rocket. I'm very happy with it, but now we have to take the tape off and pray that it still looks good. Juicy. That was so juicy. Wow, clean! I screwed up real bad with the taping. Why? Because I'm not good at this. <laughs> the cliff's supposed to go all the way down, but now this is gonna be a mess. We're just gonna have to see what it looks like at the end. I, I don't, I don't, that's all I can tell you. And this guy has like a flashlight hand because he's no space. Yeah, he's shining his own <laughs> light hand. <laughs> there you go. He's shining the light out yonder. Oh, that looks cute! I love it. Now I have to put more yellow to cover old Moon Man's thingy. It's called the Moon Hand. Moon Man's Moon Hand. Goodbye, moon Hand. Time for the big review. This is like the least graceful reveal ever, okay. That's looking clean. Oh, how'd that happen? Whoa, that looks better than I thought it would. I thought I was gonna have to correct that so much. 
<laughs> Car the Gourd painting. Sometimes you gotta let these hoes know. Whoa, you ain't kidding around. This is really annoying though. How did that happen? Goodbye, Moon Man. He said bye, Moon Man. That's actually so gorge. Doesn't it just remind you of like being all alone in space, shining your flashlight on the world? Yeah, it does. Oh, wow, I love it. The fact that like the cliff comes up through the border really kind of makes it seem like he's sitting in the forefront. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It like really adds a dimension to it. Oh, wow, it's so pretty. <laughs> this was by far the most stressful one I've ever done, but wow, she was worth it. What do you think? I think you did an excellent job. I wonder if the cliff should come up and fill that gap up. I kind of like it doing that. I really do. I don't know why. What do you think, comments? Should the cliff come up and like fill the green or do you think that the green is cool? I think it's cool. Well, that's Goodbye Moon Man by Kartha Gewert. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what else you'd like me to paint next or cook or I'm Kartha Gewert. I could do anything. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.